Tropica 6 is a construction, management and political simulation game in the beloved Tropica series. This part was developed by Olympic Entertainment and published by Calypso Media. Though originally intended for a 2018 release, Tropica 6 was released on Microsoft Windows, Mac OS and Linux in March 2019. The console owners had to wait all the way until this September. Fortunately, the developers were not idling all this time and rolled out a really quality product with an addictive gameplay and fun storyline, a ton of new features, an improved political system, large-scale archipelago of islands, and charming graphics. What could be better than this? Let's have a closer look. The developers traditionally don't cage the player into the framework and give you a great opportunity to play the way you want. Firstly, there's a very cool story mode, which makes it possible to go through certain storylines. There is no particularly thoughtful plot, but listening to the speaker will be interesting. Secondly, there is a sandbox mode, during which you yourself choose the conditions and play the way that most fits your taste. The mode is quite convenient and brings a certain variety, because an avid fan might quickly get bored of all these stories. Thirdly, there is a training mode, that allows beginners to learn the basic mechanics and get more entertained actually playing rather than cluelessly searching for the desired button on the screen. And of course, there is a multiplayer, where three players try to outlive each other. In the classic titles in the series, we used to become president immediately, being able to tailor the history of the state of Tropico to our discretion at once. But for the second time in a row, the beginning of the game pushes us into the late colonial era where we play the role of no more than a governor appointed by his royal majesty. Until we accumulate enough influence in order to revolutionize and get rid of the crown, we have to play a very neutered version of the Tropica, with only a dozen of building units available. In the colonial era, people do not rebel, but they also do not know how to heal, and they only produce alcohol, pelts and wood. Entertainment is limited to tavern, circus and theaters. Even basic literacy is not accessible at all and the only transport is your own legs. There are three epochs ahead. First, the World Wars, then the Cold War between the USA and the USSR, and then the long-awaited modernity. At each time, such a transition dramatically expands your capabilities. So, after fulfilling all the requirements for accession from the continental state, you'll immediately notice that the number of available buildings has tripled, the economy has become more complicated, and the inhabitants sharply wiser and willing to criticize your style of government. The further you go, the more political forces they are trying to influence you. Moreover, they are divided in pairs. The communists oppose the capitalists, the religious against the militarists, the green against the industrialists. Maximizing everyone's satisfaction will not work, but it's not difficult to keep a relative balance. Mostly undisguised populism works, and in Tropica 6 it has been maxed out to absolute. And no, not because it is a humorous game, but because the list of tricks that will help you get away with almost anything is more than spacious. It is possible, for instance, to promise unacceptable changes to the constitution and immediately after their adoption render it annulled by spending a little dirty cash. Periodically, the game will put you in front of a choice in which you will undoubtedly infuriate one of the parties, but again, using your offshore account money for bribing pretty much solves the issue. The integral gameplay improvement, contrasting heavily with all the previous entries, is the access to several islands at once instead of just one. In all the preceding entries, the districts were divided by long sections of roads, but now water barriers have been established between them. This means that ferry piers and bridges must be built first. In addition, there are tunnels that allow you to pave the way through the mountain, and cable cars that can lift passengers to the hills or move them between the islands. And the palace can also now be modified in every possible way, so that it more closely matches your greatness. A new character has appeared, a broker, who offers quasi-legal transactions. The broker allows you to manage your personal money in an account with a Swiss bank, which in all the previous games used to be a dead weight and only affected the final score. Now it can also be invested in technological progress, building projects or even transferred straight to the treasury. Another new feature is raiding. Depending on the era, you will be able to build a parrot layer, a camp of thugs, a spy academy or a cyber operations center to organize raids on other countries. Thus. Even if you're a fan of the classic, meaning the first, third and fourth parts of Tropico, the sixth edition still has something to offer. Although it has inherited the mechanics of the fifth one, 
They were implemented on the Unreal Engine 4, as well as carefully modified and expanded on. This time, it's really fascinating to comprehensively explore the game, attempting to create a utopian country named after yourself. I will make Tropico even greater, even bigger, and even better. Vote for El Presidente! Vote for Tropical Six! <laughs>